set new expectations of what a car ought to be. Hello to you guys. Today, gua akan review mobil dari tahun 80-an again. So yeah, let's start. So these are Porsche 959s made by Kyosho in one out of 64 scale. These are all the colors untuk casting ini ya. Jadi ini udah semua variannya. Note pas gua beli yang silver tuh udah gua modif dikit ya. Jadi udah gua ceperin peleknya. And yang merah gua beli ya tanpa box. Jadi udah nggak gitu mint. Kalau yang item 959 itu masih belum gua apa-apain, so yeah, it's still very mint. So yeah, let's start. Anyway, moving on to the cars, originally developed for Group B Rally, the 959 was the fastest production car pas dirilis di tahun 87 ya. It topped out at 317 km per hour until the F4D came along. For production numbers, Porsche made sekitar 300 unit for customers to buy. The 959 has two trim levels, the Comfort 959 yang lebih cocok buat harian, and the Sport 959 yang lebih track focused. The differences of the Comfort and Sport models are the coilover suspension. Kalau yang Comfort itu pakai self leveling suspension ya, jadi itu kan lebih berat jadinya. Kalau coilover suspension tuh lebih enteng because it's more simple. There's no AC2 in the Sport models, and Sport model tuh juga udah dapet roll cage ya, and it's also leather wrap. The sport model also gets racing harnesses, so yeah, harnessnya udah di wrap around roll cage juga, and a new 319 km per hour top speed. So yeah, let's go to the box now. Boxnya itu blind box because when ini dijual baru tuh belinya kayak gacapan gitu, so we don't know what we might get. Overall, I really like the finishing of the box. It looks very good. Di belakang boxnya juga udah ada list modelnya tuh yang mana aja yang kita dapat and variannya tuh apa aja gitu ya. The 959 is kept in a bubble yang dibaut ke base, protected with the box too, jadi udah very safe. We also get a card yang ngejelasin soal mobil yang kita dapat tuh apa, in this case the 959. The card feels very nice, itu masih baru ya kelihatannya tuh, I think it's still very new. Laminatingnya aja tuh masih kayak bisa kerasa gitu ya. Where usually other cards itu nggak gitu kerasa gitu pas kita pegang gitu. So yeah, this is very mint. So yeah, now let's inspect the casting. Overall, in terms of proporsi, so far nggak ada problem sih gua. For its age, it's really good. The small details sudah bagus considering this is a casting from 2005. Yeah, it's really old actually. Yeah. The casting juga udah spot on banget. Nothing alarming about the paint. Untuk 959 yang merah, sebelumnya catnya tuh barat ya, so I painted the dent red. But don't worry, I plan to repaint the whole car. Tapi ya, untuk tiga catnya tuh masih ada merintis, which is ya, yeah, still wajar lah for an old casting. But if you know how to repair the paint by sanding it down and waxing it, you can remove the rashes easily. So yeah, the badging juga udah bagus banget, sizingnya udah pas. Little details such as the vents juga udah spot on for the three cars ya. Even though di one nine doang ada depthnya ya, in the vents, especially the side vents. The mirrors also look good, just like the real thing. Going to the flaws, the ride height is too high. I'm not sure why. The actual car isn't this high when in its street setting, so yeah. This is also something that is common banget ya di Kyosho jadul. Biasa tuh ride height itu suka ngaco ya. And since this is old too, and skalanya kan juga kecil ini, so yeah. Probably that's the problem that Kyosho had back in the day. Posisi ban belakang kiri itu miring ya. So this is probably due to the axle or maybe base-nya yang miring. Not sure why. So yeah, that is the reason why I lowered the silver car supaya nggak gitu kelihatan tuh imperfectionnya. If we take a closer look to the left side or the right side of the car, depends on where you see it from. Miring ya gitu base-nya tuh jadi ada yang keluar dikit ya. If you see closely. So yeah, let's go to the conclusion. I really like this casting so far. Buat gua castingnya bagus banget pas gua lihat. The only problem is the ride height and the base. Only those things make the casting feel very weird. Tapi overall, the body I really have no problem at all. I think this problem is fixable if we take the axles off and lower it since that is what I did to the silver 959. Rating wise, I give it an 8 out of 10. So now let's talk about the target market and who should buy these. The Porsche 959 in all regards is a very legendary car and Kyosho, the, they did a very good job in replicating it untuk skala 1 banding 64. I think fans supercar dari tahun 80-an tuh bakal suka banget sama ini model. Personally, since gua emang juga suka banget ya mobil dari tahun era 80-an. So yeah, it's very worth it to me. 
Beginners yang juga masih baru in collecting juga wajib punya model ini ya. I think it's a must have since so far Kyosho only makes detailed 959s in 1 out of 64 scale. No other brand makes it so far. Oh and don't worry too, the material is die cast. So yeah, probably if you would like to buy one, lihat kondisi catnya and the wheels and tires gitu. Just check dulu kalau kondisi ban itu gepeng or no ya. Since this can happen if the screw to the base is too tight. So now, where can you find these? In Tokopedia and Bukalapak tuh kadang ada ya. So make sure you try to look out for them. A store that I would like to give a shout out to is Tams. In Tokopedia it's Tams Toys. In Bukalapak tuh namanya Tams doang gitu. Dia banyak banget ya his stock gitu ya. And his inventory too juga very interesting. He's got all of the Kyoshos that he sells gitu. A lot of variety that you can check out too over there. So yeah, this is not a paid promotion. Tapi biasanya kalau gua nyari Kyosho tu atau any obscure kayak Kyosho model or any cheap Kyosho model, gua tu ke Tams biasanya. In Bukalapak or Tokopedia. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to visit the links too. Leave a comment below too kalau ada pertanyaan ya. And thank you. Thank you.